Hey, welcome everyone. Vic here with Sosi Snap and Tube Relevance. Tonight's training is going to be all about the simplest way I know to create really awesome Zoom video recordings with these custom backgrounds. They're really cool like this. I'm not even using a green screen. I'm using the built-in function in Zoom to record these videos. And one of the things you want to be doing is editing your videos with a really simple tool called HitFilm. HitFilm Express is totally free and HitFilm Pro has all these effects and animations and things like that and transitions, text effects that you can pick up. But get started with HitFilm Express for free. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly edit your Zoom recordings so you look like a rock star when you stream them live on Facebook, or if you want to upload them to your YouTube channel. So let's go. So when you first fire up HitFilm, you will see this menu, which has a bunch of tutorials and things from the internet. You wanna click new, and then just hit the okay button, and then I click over here to where it says import and I go to media and I have videos in my video source directory. I go to Zoom. These are all my Zoom webinars that I've been giving. So here's one of my most recent trainings, doubling your YouTube traffic. So I go in here and I'm going to pick, uh, this is a camera one. This is, a, this is the one right here where I'm actually doing screen shares and things like that. So I'm gonna open that up and you see this little thing is gonna conform audio. So in other words, you're not gonna be able to see the audio or hear anything until it finishes its spin. So what I recommend you do is sit back and relax, come back until this thing finishes spinning and we'll continue. All right, welcome back. So you see, this is a 720p video and I, my, my project is 1080. So one of the things we want to do is just adjust things around. So you see this entire video is an hour and 40 minutes. And let's say I just want to grab this first section right here. I'll start at the beginning and maybe go in right here. So my views on, okay, so this right here, this set point, this sets the beginning point. And I'm just going to, you know, pick a spot that's kind of like good for the first cut. All right, so that's where my tips are. Um, and so I'm gonna just gonna go right here. Okay, so that's where I want my end cut to be. And so I've grabbed like a 12 or 13 minute section, which is the perfect length for YouTube. Then I click this button right here called insert clip. And I just stick that right in there like that. So then the editor sequence difference to the clip you're setting, I'm just gonna click yes. And what it does, it changes the project to 720p. There's no reason for me to increase it. Now you'll see over here, by default, it sets a five minute uh, start and end point. And this is basically what is gonna be rendered if we use the in and out. Over here is a tab called the viewer. So if I click anywhere on the timeline, it's gonna show me a preview of that clip. What I like to do is go down here to this magnet and zoom in on my timeline. You don't even need to watch the video. You can go in here and just see where the audio is. And I use this razor blade. Now look how quick I do this. I go cut. Then I go right in here. I cut, cut. I go right in here. I cut, cut. And then I can see all the spots where I'm pausing and I would lose subscribers that would drop off the video. And look, I just made these real quick cuts. And look how, how fast this is. I right click and then I click ripple delete object, ripple delete object, ripple delete object. Boom, boom, boom. In no time at all, I've just improved it, right? So now let's suppose I want to add a little intro to my movie. Well, I'm gonna go into an earlier cut of my zoom which is uh actually like right over here i think this is just an intro of me speaking and you see how this one of just the camera alone doesn't have a screenshot it's only 640 by 360 and you can play that up here you see that okay so right there is my beginning 
I usually count down three, two, one, and hit it. Uh, that lets me know that that's there. So now I've got this right in here, and I click this insert track, and there it is. It just inserted the track, and you can see where the audio drops off. All right. Now I want to do a smooth dissolve between my camera. Now, first thing I want to do is you see how the video right here is smaller than the rest of the video? Okay. So then what I do is I click on the pointer. I select that little clip. I right click. I go to transform and fit to frame. And it zooms it right in so it's perfectly seamless. Because see, when Zoom records things, it automatically does so in different sizes and different formats. And I recommend you start and stop your Zoom because then you're gonna get the best quality for the bandwidth that you're currently recording. I do about two Zooms a week, uh, anywhere from uh, usually about two hours. So that's about four hours of recording every single week that I have to edit. Without this tool, it'd be impossible to get through it all. So now let's create a nice little transition. So I go to effects. I'm gonna search in my effects. Now, this will vary based on what effects package you bought. You can get basic transitions for as low as like 10 or 15 bucks in HitFilm Express. So you don't need all the fancy effects. I have HitFilm Pro, which has all these effects, really used for like green screens, sharpening. There's all these transitions. So I wanna to go to transitions video, and I'm just gonna to go to dissolve, and I do cross dissolve. And I drag the cross dissolve effect and I drop it right here in the middle. And then I can make, I can widen it. So what's going to happen is you can see here in the preview timeline, as I'm finishing speaking, and see it transitions, it transitions right into my other video. So then let's say I want to record something for uh, YouTube, which is around, you know, let's say it's going to be around, uh, eight to 15 minutes is the sweet spot. So I'm gonna go look for a spot where it's a good spot to end. So I go through the timeline and I'm going fast and lower. And I see right here is a good spot. There's some screens. Okay, so here's where I go into the tips. So this is a good place to stop. So then right over here, I use previous frame. I click on previous frame and I go backwards, backwards, backwards. Okay, so there's the previous frame. That's a good place to stop. Then I zoom right in down here. And you can see where here's where I stop talking. Boom, we'll cut that out. Now I'm gonna use one of my pre-made animations that I use uh, this really cool tool. I'll put some information about that below this video if you'd like to pick up the tool. And I'm just going to go grab that media animation. Okay, so this is my uh, Doobie's outro. And then I just drop that in here. At the, what I, you see, one of the things you can also do is if you wanna make sure it's perfectly lined up, I drop it in right here. Now this time you see that the actual animation is larger. So if I want to, I can do the same thing. I highlight here, right click, transform, and then I click fit to frame. And it, even though the video is larger, now the animation is correct. Okay, so now I have my little animation with my subscribe now. Right in here, I go ripple delete gap, and I get rid of the gap, and I go right to the end of it, and I go step forward one frame. Okay, when I hit the black frame, go back one frame, set the out point. So then I click here to go to the beginning point, and then the out point. Just, uh, Zoom out of the timeline, you can see that's right there. And now we're ready to go. There it is, I've just rendered that. Now, one of the things you can also do is, let's say I wanted to extend this video. 
I can go uh, make several clips and set several in and out points and then render like four or five videos. So you can work on like, let's say you do a whole series, like this was a two hour webinar. I sliced it up into six parts. And so what's nice about that is you just click export, add to queue, in to out area. And let's say I wanna use a Facebook format. It automatically, 720 is the Facebook streaming format. I don't need to go higher than that. And then I just click right here and I just start exporting. And uh, there's my 10 minute video. So this is a very short and easy way that you can use HitFilm Pro or HitFilm Express to make your videos. If you like any part of this video, I would totally appreciate a like. And most of all, share this video with your friends. If you haven't already picked it up, check out Sosi Snap. That's my social media editor. It works perfectly on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. It makes your posts and your titles really pop off your page. More information below this video. I'll see you guys at our next live event. Bye for now.